What is up guys, Fidelis here, and I'm not alone today. I am with another S and D Elite member, which is Kyle Stan. Alright guys, so Fidelis really fucked this up the first two takes, so we, we gotta get it right the third. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> but before I let Kyle talk, uh, I just wanted to talk about the gameplay a little bit, and it's a 21 with the MSR and the Glock. I'm running Assault with Predator Missile Reaper and AC-130 on Hardhat. This was way back when uh, my channel first started. Deathly actually used this on his channel for the Subscriber Sundays or whatever. Um, but a lot of you probably haven't seen that. So I'm going to post it again because it's pretty good gameplay and I don't snipe a lot because I play on a lower sensitivity so sniping for me is a little harder than uh, all the other guys that do that. But <clears throat> what we wanted to talk about today was the, uh, last week I came to Kyle and we were talking about assault versus specialist gameplays or just playing with assault versus specialist and we wanted to talk about that a little bit so go ahead Kyle. Alright, really, so uh, what we were talking about earlier was, like, the difference between the two, and if you kind of had to pick one, which one would you go with? And honestly, I could not answer if I would rather Assault versus Specialist, because it's more or less about the mood that I'm in, because um, I feel like when you use Assault, um, it pays off more, because you put in more effort, and then when you finally actually get to those higher-end streaks, then you could get, like, four or five kills, maybe even an ace, depending on um, what you're using, like Reaper, AC-130. Uh, but then again, when you use Specialist, I feel that by the time the game's actually over, um, you don't get your Specialist bonus until, like, the third, fourth round, and you might only get, like, two or three kills with it. But at the same point in time... Specialist does kind of help out because even if you just need that one extra perk in the beginning, let's say like um, you want to run Sit Rep and Dead Silence, if you pick up two kills, then the rest of the game is going to be a whole lot easier because you have um, Sit Rep and Dead Silence. So, yeah. <laughs> For me, it's kind of like what you said with the mood. Uh, some days I just want to run Specialist and some days I want to run Assault. I don't know why. It's just how I feel sometimes. Uh, another thing is the map choice. Like if I'm playing Lockdown, Lockdown or C-Town, um, I'm not going to run Assault because there's so many buildings for everyone to hide in, like a Reaper or an AC-130. It really isn't beneficial on any of those maps. So Assault uh, on those maps are a lot better. But open maps like Interchange or uh, Village or something like that, everything seems to work out more. And it works out more for me also because I don't have to leave the spawn now to, uh, to kill anybody. I can just sit back in the cave or something on Village and open up that Reaper and see everybody on the map. I don't have to worry about getting Sound Horde. I don't have to worry about running around the entire map looking for people while my teammates kill people and I lose out on kills. I can just sit right there, see everyone from up there. Yeah, that's the fucking worst part about using like a Reaper AC-130 is the fact that you're still on the ground. That's kind of why I don't use those higher end perks like if i run assault i've been usually running with uh what chris usually runs which is the uav predator and um airstrike and i don't know why but that setup actually works so well like you wouldn't believe how good of gameplays i've gotten just using those three and he's gotten some fucking spectacular ones just using those three i don't i don't know i guess it's because you could cycle through them like more than once in a game um i guess that might be a little bit more beneficial than like trying to drop 10 kills to get a reaper ac-130 or whatever yeah because i know sometimes when i'm playing i get that reaper and then going into you know the fourth round if you can get a reaper by the end of the second round it's it's really good but sometimes uh, i don't get it until later on and i don't even get the chance to use the ac-130 because i like to run predator reaper ac-130 and half the time i don't even get to use the ac-130 yeah i kind of like I, I don't think i would ever pick reaper and ac-130 just because of like, the, the shitty luck I get, especially with Call of Duty, is that I'll end up getting them in, like, the fourth round. I'll call them the Reaper, and there'd only be, like, two guys left. And I'll kill, like, two with the Reaper, and then I'm like, fuck, I want to use the AC-130. Yeah, sometimes it works out, and sometimes it doesn't. But, I mean, I mean it just depends. Yeah, fuck, it's, it's Call of Duty is different every every game, pretty much. And like you said, though, you always got to worry about that blind eye guy running around yeah, the map while you're up in that. stupid it's, blind eye guy what? that, like, he always <laughs> runs back to the spawn, and he's so fucking sneaky. It's like you could have a team of ride shielders just protecting you, and he still fucking manages to kill you. I don't understand if, it. If you're in the Reaper, have you ever noticed this? You know how it's all, like, uh, staticky, kind of grainy looking yeah. when you're in the Reaper? If you hit the select button, it's harder to see, but you bring up the scoreboard, it will clear up kind of the sides, and you can see him sometimes sneaking around. Yeah. I do that when I'm in the Reaper. Which is kind of cool. But, um... <laughs> <laughs> I've but never tried gotta, it. Yeah, try it out sometime. Next time you're at a Reaper or something. Uh, yeah, probably won't. What did, you, what did you run in the other Call of Duties, though? Ah. Like, when, before there were Specialists. Spe especially in why I would always run uh, lower-end streaks. I don't know why. Just because I, I'd rather j just 
get those streaks over and over and over again rather than just like in Modern Warfare 2 everybody was going for nukes all the fucking time so your third perk was always designated to get that nuke but like your first two streaks were so high by the time you got to the second one you're like fuck I don't want to move I'm never leaving this building I'm just going to aim down this door and everybody needs to run to me so I kind of feel like specialists makes me play a lot more aggressive because I don't really give a fuck and I just run around more, but yeah, in previous games I did run Assault or whatever was there, but mostly lower end streaks. And when you get Specialist bonus, you feel you're invincible yeah. and then you get shit on the next round. Oh, I love fuck, that. That sucks. <laughs> but yeah, man, I'm, I'm totally with you on the lower end streaks. I did do that through Modern Warfare 2 and Black Ops. I like the lower end streaks. Like uh, in Black Ops, I'd use the uh, the spy plane, the counter spy plane, and like a care package or something. Just so you could cycle through those and get those easier. But anyways, guys, this gameplay is coming to an end. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the commentary with me and Kyle. Uh, see you later. Peace.